robots X, Y, and Z each assemble components at their respective rates. And so I'm actually going to use the letters X, Y, and Z for the rates of these individual robots. If R sub X is the ratio of robot R constant rate to R but robot Z's constant rate, so Rx equals the rate of X over the rate of Z, and Ry is the ratio of robot Y's constant rate to robot Z's constant rate, so Ry equals Y over Z, then is robot R's constant rate the greatest of the three? So is Z greater than X or Y? So statement number one tells us that Rx is less than Ry. So what that means is that X over Z is less than Y over Z. And if we multiply both sides by Z, we do get that X is less than y. So that's interesting. Statement number one tells us that y works faster than x, but this tells us no information about how z compares to either of them. So this statement by itself is insufficient. So we'll leave that alone. Block statement one out of your mind. Statement number two tells us that ry is less than one. Well, that's the same as saying that y over z, the rate of y over the weight of, rate of z is less than 1. Multiply both sides by z here, and we get that y is less than z. So z is greater than y, but this statement tells us no information about, state, about robot number x. And so we have no way of knowing how z compares to x, and we have no way of knowing whether z is the greatest of the three. So this statement also, by itself, is insufficient. When we combine the statements though, well now we know that x is less than y and y is less than z. And so it tells us definitively z is the greatest of the three of them. And so combined the statements are sufficient. Answer choice C.